What's up, guys? Look who I found. <laughs> Welcome back to life, huh? Thanks, man. It's been, just been hiding out, healing up, recovering. Just want to thank everybody that's you know sent me some nice letters and words of encouragement and helping me along in my uh, recovery process. There have definitely been quite a few nice letters out there. If you guys don't mind, I got to show you how many emails we've gotten just over the last couple of weeks since this guy disappeared for his surgery. Um, grab those. <laughs> so many here. We got stacks of emails. This so Not even half? Yeah, no, that's not even close to half. We, you know, we'd have to cut down a lot of trees if we were to. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much for your support, and I know I was kind of holding down the fort while, while this guy was gone, so it's good to have you back, brother. Thanks, man. Oh, oh. oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, well, there's a lot of questions out there, so uh, let's get down into it because uh, we know you guys got a busy day, so hopefully we can answer a few more questions. We're gonna start getting into it. Thanks for your patience. I know we've been gone for the last few days, so we're still working away. September 15th is that deadline for, uh, for when Reshape is gonna launch, so we're really excited. We've got a lot of stuff coming up, so uh, let's get into some questions. Yes. And um, in fact, D here has been in his recovery going through all of the emails that you guys have been sending in just over the last month. So, um, and I know there's been a lot of them. Um, yeah, tell us about them. Yeah, there's, um, you know, I have two frequent, frequently asked questions right here. One is about diet soda, if it's okay to drink or not. Um, what do you think about diet soda? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Honestly, I, 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 honestly. I, I like it better than water. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so so long story short, and, and um, in the most broad way and broad sense, yes, diet soda, it is okay to drink. Now, we actually consider diet soda a transition tool. And so what that transition tool is, is, you know, I kind of think about it like, like Indiana Jones. If for those of you who've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, if were that old, I just dated myself, I think. Well, but um, so Raiders of the Lost Ark, there's this part where um, there's like this viable, um, uh, what is it, it's like a statuette, where he actually has to take the statuette and he has to replace it quickly with something else, right? And, and to prevent the temple from falling down. Anyway, um, that's exactly what we're doing. When we take something out, we need to replace it with something. We need to replace it with a transition. So we actually utilize diet sodas and a lot of other things as transition tools like your artificial sweeteners like you know Splenda and I hate to say it but aspartame which is of course that's the sweetener that's used in a lot of these diet sodas now is it good for you no but it's a wonderful transition away from the lifestyle that was hurting you all along so what we do is we utilize these transition tools ie your diet sodas so all of you diet coke and diet pepsi addicts out there um, it's not necessarily great for your wellness, but it's a great transition because if we're looking at weight loss, you know, weight loss and wellness, they're kind of two different things that we're looking at. We would like to, in, in, you know, in capture and, and um, yeah, if you will, capture both of those in the same, you know, in the same kind of lifestyle, but look, transition. There's nothing wrong with that transition. So there's a lot of different tools that we're going to be utilizing along the process of your journey. And so if you need to use Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or whatever diet soda that you like to use um, to help satisfy those sweet cravings, which a lot of us have, it's okay. Plug that in for the time being. How about like um, diet iced teas? You know, you see them in the grocery stores, you, you like diet brisk or, you know, yeah. is that the same as diet soda? It is. And, and please, you know, if you have a chance, turn that sucker around and start reading that label on the back. And, and one thing that we're looking for is, you know, I, I would love for you to start steering away from aspartame. Keep an eye on that, on aspartame, and you know, you know it's kind of weighing the less of two eagles, but of course, looking more for sucralose, which we'll see on the back of a lot of those diet iced teas. And so, stevia. Yeah, well, right? if you can, start looking for stevia. Now, stevia, it, it, is a, it's a, it comes from a natural source, and it's a natural sweetener, so it still has an impact on our blood sugar levels a little bit, but it's nothing as impactful as sugar. So um, yeah, absolutely, stevia is fantastic. But number one that you want to stay away from is aspartame. If you can, try to find something with Splenda or even better yet, stevia. So um, yes, yeah, so if you can, 
flip that that label around and start start reading those labels on the back of the iced tea and the diet cokes and you know even crystal light for for example that's a wonderful transition tool as we start to move into the lifestyle and now eventually we want to transition away from those so there's different transition tools that we're going to be utilizing along the process but guys take your time with this get into the new groove and start playing with these transition tools and do whatever it takes to help change that lifestyle over all right cool. i have Thank a you. another question as far as caffeine um is it okay to use Okay, now caffeine, in fact, we just did a blog about this the other day, um, and caffeine, there are pros and cons to it. I'm not for it, I'm not against it. Have we used it? Absolutely, we really have. Um, however, of course, caffeine addiction is something we really wanna watch out for, so when we are utilizing caffeine, we wanna use it for short amounts of time. So, uh, especially for all of you coffee and iced tea drinkers out there, you understand and you felt the effects of that caffeine withdrawal. When you take that caffeine out and oh my gosh, my head is hurting <laughs> and we've all been there, oh, yeah. we've been there. Oh, yeah. So we've oh. definitely experienced it. Now caffeine, it's a very valuable tool for a lot of different reasons and, and of course caffeine, going back to diet sodas, it's a wonderful transition tool. Keep in mind when we're playing with nutrition and higher carbohydrate days and lower carbohydrate days, our energy levels go up and down as well. And caffeine is a wonderful way, number one, it's an appetite suppressant. So when you actually consume caffeine, it's gonna curb a lot of the cravings that we might have. So yes, it's a good tool there. Uh, number two, caffeine actually increases, uh, well, it, scientifically, in scientific terms here, it, it's, uh, it spares glycogen and increases lipolysis. So it basically spares the carbohydrate that's stored in the muscle and then increases the rate at which your body's gonna mobilize fat. In fact, caffeine releases adrenaline from our systems, and that adrenaline actually attaches to the side of a fat molecule to activate what we call a lipase, splits that triglyceride, shuttles it into our bloodstream, shuttles those fatty acids into our bloodstream, and as we're walking, say we're going through an accelerator, that's where those fatty acids are gonna get shuttled into the muscle and oxidized in the mitochondria. So, a lot of blah 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 for you, but yeah, long whatever you just said right there, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it works. <laughs> long story short, caffeine is actually extremely effective when it comes to burning fat. However, there's also a downside. Keep in mind also that every time that we're actually taking in caffeine, we're increasing the stress on our body. So when we release all that adrenaline from those adrenal glands that are sitting right here on the sides, that are sitting up on top of our kidneys. Um, we're also releasing cortisol, which is a stress hormone, which, Ooh, yeah, yeah. We, we've got those checks and balances. When your body releases a lot of cortisol, cortisol goes up and actually triggers your body to store fat. So our body's got all these checks and balances. Granted, it'll burn fat at a faster rate, but also triggers your body to store fat. So what we like to do is when we do use caffeine, we use it very strategically. Also keep in mind, if you use caffeine for more than about six or seven weeks, your adrenals will start to get exhausted. Keep in mind, think about them almost like a, a bucket and we've got so much adrenaline stuck inside of those adrenals. And, and when we take caffeine, our body squirts that adrenaline into the system. And of course, we reap the benefits of it because all of a sudden we're jittery and heart's racing and we're feeling good and our lipolysis, fat burning's going up. But keep in mind, we've only got so much adrenaline and before you know it, those adrenals, they run out. So that one cup of coffee that used to do the job for you, well now three cups of coffee yeah. is barely waking you up and you're starting, you know, it takes four cups of coffee or the, the super venti at Starbucks just to get your body moving again. So I still don't even get those uh, sizes at Starbucks. Yeah. I mean, large, small, medium, come on. So really when it comes to caffeine, <laughs> we like to keep it, we like to keep it, uh, preferably with like iced tea or maybe like an iced coffee. They also have caffeine in those thermogenics out there, which are the weight loss pills. And usually that stuff's really concentrated. So it, there's the good and the bad to caffeine. Are we gonna use it as a tool? Yes. And stay tuned because I'm actually gonna give you a lot more details on how to use caffeine nice. as a wonderful tool for your journey. So right. yeah, wow, okay. Speaking of um, caffeine, I'm about to go grab me a Diet Coke right now. So. <laughs> this guy's still using transition tools every once in a while. Hey, I'm recovering, <laughs> it's helping me. All right. <laughs> That's okay. Keep in mind, it's really, it's all about the lifestyle, guys. And, and it's really about finding something and keeping it flexible to make it fit for you. That's it. All right. All right, go get your, Go get your Dat Coke, do your thing. All right, guys, more to come. See you next time. Bye-bye.